our fall slash Halloween party. Don't forget to check out the video I made earlier this month of when we got the house and the, all of the animal enclosures decorated for fall. And the chickens are pre-gaming with some watermelon right now. But the babies under the coop are too afraid to come join them, so I'm going to put some over here so they're less intimidated. And look, they carved a pumpkin. They give it eyes and everything. Pumpkins are really good for chickens. They can eat the whole thing, seeds, flesh, everything. Some people say it acts as a natural dewormer. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but it is rich in vitamins and minerals. So it's really, really good for them and it's a great enrichment activity. Look, she likes my fingernails. So now we're gonna go inside and I'm gonna show you how I decorate and show you some of the different spooky fall treats that we're gonna make for the party. We're in the process of prepping for the Halloween party and then when Steven gets here we're going to carve some apples, look like little skulls, and we're going to put them in the apple cider. I just picked this this morning. I really like the shape of it. I really like the stem. You can see it's not totally ripe yet, but the vine was dying, so I had to pick it. But it'll orange up on its own. And we've been getting a ton of rain the past couple of weeks, so there's a lot of fungus. And I found one called bird nest fungus, and let me show you it. It's really pretty. And you can see it really does look like a nest with little eggs in it. Nature is so cool. I'm not sure what these ones are called, but they're pretty cool too. Back to the party.
That's the most realistic prop we have. I put one poisoned apple slice on there, so, you know, they carved it. step all the way in and please make room for everyone. There's no turning back now. Our tour begins here in this gallery where you see the paintings of some of their guests as they appear in their corruptible mortal state. Your cadaverous parlor betrays an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching? or it is your imagination. Hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows, no doors, which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. Of course, there's always my way. Now you have to give a sinister laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Chickens get the leftovers, and don't worry, this was only sitting out for like two hours. The apple's not bad. It's a beautiful fall morning, and I'm out going for a walk with Monkey, and look what we found. A woolly bear caterpillar. You know it's fall when you start seeing those. Crossing the road. All right, come on, Eva. Let's go to the pumpkin patch. Come on, Eva. Here's the popcorn pumpkins. They could go a little bit longer, but as you can see, the vine is dying, so I'm probably gonna have to pick them this week. And these are starting to orange up. All right, Eva, come on. Let's go back to the house and take care of the chickens. Come on, let's go this way. Treat time. All right, monkey, you play on the deck for a little bit. I'm gonna go see the chickens. 
I'll be right back. So I won't go on about this too long because I've talked about this in other videos, but with the cold months coming, I figured it's a good thing to talk to you guys about again. And also, you know, it's a Halloween video, so the chickens need to have their treats too. But basically, this is a homemade scratch that I make for the chickens. You can go to most feed stores and buy a pre-made scratch, but I personally like making my own because you can add more ingredients to it and make it a little bit more nutritious for them and make it more enriching for them mentally because they have more feed options in here. So now that it's getting colder, you can see that there is more black oil sunflower seeds and more corn in this mix than compared to the ones I showed you throughout the summer. That's because they're going to need more protein because they're malting right now. They look kind of rough. So the black oil sunflower seeds are really, really good for that because they are very high in protein. It takes a lot of protein to regrow feathers, so they need that. And plus the oil in here is really good for their feathers and their skin. Same with the flax seeds. The flax seeds are really teeny tiny. There's one on top of the corn right there. They're really good for skin health, eye health, brain health, feather health. Helps make them really shiny and pretty, just like the black oil. It's rich in omega-3s, and studies have shown that chickens that have an omega-3 rich diet lay eggs that are richer in omega-3s, which means the eggs are going to be healthier for you to eat. So I always keep flax seeds in here. The black oil sunflower seeds are high in fat, so just be careful. You don't want to make this their main diet. I always tell people, scratch is a treat. It is not their main diet. Their main diet needs to be a layer feed. But you can give them about 10% of their diet can make up the scratch. I give this to mine in the morning, and then sometimes when it's really going to be a cold night, I'll give them a little bit before bed. So the corn, some people use cracked corn, that's fine if that's what you want to do, but my chickens, I have a mixed flock, I have standard size, and I have bantam silkies. None of them have any issues swallowing the whole piece. There is more nutritional value in the whole pieces, and plus the oils in it are really good for them. Corn is high in carbohydrates, so it helps the birds create enough energy to keep themselves warm at night, especially when it's getting cold. And then you can see I also have as the main base, I have three different grains in here. I have oat, wheat, and barley. High in fiber, it has some vitamins. That's the main base because it's not too high in fat like some of the other stuff. You don't want to make them overweight. And then you can see you can free choice the bugs for them, but I mix this in the scratch just because it's easier just to scoop it up and give it to them. The bugs are really, really high in protein. They are freeze-dried mealworms, and you can also get freeze-dried black soldier fly larva. There's also, let's see, safflower seed in here, which is this little white seed. And they also have some antioxidants, lots of different health benefits. So I'm actually going to cut scenes real quick to the feed store and show you some different fact signs about these different ingredients that I mix so you can learn more about them. Feel free to pause it when the signs come up if you need a little bit more time to read. At most feed stores, you can actually get most of these ingredients by the pound, as well as in full-size bags. And you can just go to the local feed store and buy it and mix it yourself, and that way you have more control over what your birds are eating, which I know that matters to a lot of people because you're going to be eating their eggs. So you want to be in charge of their health so that you are staying healthy too, and so that your birds are happy and everyone's happy. So it's also a fun thing to do because... You get to make it yourself, and that's a lot more interesting than just going and grabbing a bag off of the shelf and dumping it in the trash can. So let's cut to the feed store so you can learn more about these ingredients.
And as you can see, they really love it. Just make sure that your birds have access to grit. They need the stones to help them digest their food better, especially when they're eating treats like scratch because of the hard shells. All right, so now we're gonna go inside and give Eva some of her Halloween treats, and then we're gonna cut to the horse farm so I can show you Cinnabar because who wouldn't wanna see her? And here's the treat for Monkey. Looks good enough for a person to eat, but it's for dogs. But she's tiny, so she only gets a little piece at a time. Can't have the whole thing right now. All right, Eva, ready to try it? She's like, yes. So polite. Let's fix your baby ear. Oh, she wants privacy. So in addition to the donut that I got Eva, I also got her this really cute toy. It's by Zippy Paws. They have a lot of cute seasonal toys. Monkey, be polite. Ooh, and it does squeak. That'll make her happy. She's trying to find the squeaker. And there's also this three pack of dog toys. They're little pumpkins. Really cute, easy to squeak, so she'll like that. I think I'll give her one today and then I'll give her the others on actual Halloween. I also got her this. It could be a treat or a food topper. I'll just give it to her as an occasional treat, but I thought it seemed like a nice healthy option. Alright, you can have one. I don't want to give you too many treats all at once. One little piece. Sit. Down. Stay. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl. You're so good. You're so smart. Monkey, are you ready for Halloween? All right, now let's go see Cinnabara. Doesn't even need a halter.
real quick before we end this video, I want to throw in something really cool that happened. Believe it or not, I live in Maryland. We were able to see the northern lights from my front yard. I didn't really record any of it because it was really hard to get on video, but I was actually fortunate enough to get some really cool pictures of it. So I'm going to toss those in real quick so you can see. It was spectacular. It was one of the prettiest skies I've ever seen and I'll never forget it. I never in my wildest dreams thought that I'd be able to see that from here. Pull over this way. My camera's not picking it up, but the sky is literally pink. Oh my god! Yeah, that's definitely... That's so cool! Let's take a walk. I think there's three of them. New character. <laughs> 